Hello friends! I feel like I haven't made a vlog like this in a few weeks, so I'm so excited to clean and chill with you today! Um, I'm not sure exactly what we're going to do. I just got back from the gym. I took a shower, well actually I took a shower before I went to the gym. <laughs> it was a yoga day though, so I'm like, eh, I'm not gonna sweat that much. It's fine. An intruder. So a couple of things on my to-do list today while Wentworth is sleeping. I need to plant some succulents that I've had since Mother's Day that I bought, well I don't know if you can see them, where are they? They're over there. I bought some jars. I think I showed them to you in a Target haul. My curtains are falling. Ugh. I think I showed them to you in a Target haul, but I didn't get them from Target. I got them from Salvation Army. I'll link that somewhere if you want to check it out. But I've been waiting. I'm like, ah, uh, when should I pot these? So I guess today's the day. And then I have a shelf that I've been meaning to hang slash been asking Alex to do, but it hasn't been, happened yet. So hopefully he'll, we're, I'm like 50-50 on where I want to hang it. So I guess I need to just make up my mind. And then I have like crap all over my house like that. I need to put that somewhere where it's not in plain sight annoying me every day. And then guys, can I share something with you that is devastating? So it's about my garden and you guys know I've been like obsessed about my garden and stuff. It's dead. It's dead. The whole thing, almost the whole thing, uh, some lettuce is still growing. I don't know how it survived. So everything was going great. Handy dandy for like, I don't know, two months, three months almost. Just when my crop was starting to grow. I saw little zucchinis growing. I saw little pumpkins starting to grow. And then downpour. For two weeks straight, we had like some tropical storm, Andy, whatever the name was, who cares about him. I just got so mad, I just stopped weeding it. So upsetting. This pumpkin vine thinks it's okay, but it doesn't know what's coming. It's dead. It rained. It's so much. And I think maybe that killed my garden. I don't know. Or I killed it. I don't know what I did, but it's all dead. Good news is though, my banana tree is growing. It's in the ground. And then my orange tree is growing. It's in the ground. So hopefully those things make it. Oh, and my starfruit trees. Um, well, not trees. They're like little sprouts. Those are those are still around. And then, oh, I see a butterfly. Oh my gosh, I don't have ADD, guys. And then um, <laughs> an apple tree little sprout that went where uh, Eleanor planted. That's growing. So that's good news. But all around, pretty crappy. That my whole vegetable garden is like, you know what I mean? It's down in the dumps. Let's check out my kitchen because I'm sure that needs to be cleaned. What happened to this place? When I left this morning, like an hour and a half ago, this was clean. Oh my gosh, eggs! Oh, they found two eggs today, yay! Where did that come from though? And then all of that. Maybe soon to come we'll do like a pantry clean out because that is the need of some serious TLC. But for now, let's take it one thing at a time and just pa plant my succulents. All right, here we are, let me grab my gloves. All right, so talk to me, guys. I feel like I haven't spoken to you in so long. Ugh, all those cars are so loud. So, it's summer for us. Is it summer for you guys? I know it's summer for some of you. Do you have any big plans this summer? I am, like, so relieved that it's summertime and I don't have to, like, I don't know, get my kids ready this morning. So, here are the planters. I love them. And I'm surprised that these are still alive. I'm not even gonna lie to you. This one's kind of dying. We're gonna see if we could save it. But I'm thinking, should I put two in here? Or just one? Yeah, okay. Ah! So I just looked all around for some rocks. I couldn't find them anywhere. I know I have some. I just pulled these out from my yard. Give a little drainage. Do you guys have gardens? Are you planning on like doing a garden? I feel like summertime is too late for me to start a new garden. But that's what I want to do. You know, I don't want to just give up just because the first time I failed, you know what I mean? You gotta keep trying. I feel like they'll look so much prettier once I put like rocks in them. But for now, I'm pretty happy. Gotta take these stickers off though. <laughs> Give me all your gardening tips below. Like, I need all the help I can get. This guy's a little wobbly here. 
Think that's okay? Whatever. All right, so let's head back inside and clean something. So little man is up from his nap, and guess what Alex found on the side of the road? Do your husbands, or do you pick up things off the side of the road? I did it for like the first time the other day. I got a, a shelf that I've been looking for. It was like sent to me, it was amazing. And this basket was right next to it, and I came home and I told Alex, he was so proud of me, and I said, you know, I should have got the basket. It's been like three days, and he got the basket. He just drove to his cousin's house and got the basket on the side of the road. It's full, oh no. It's full of goodies. I don't even know what's in here actually. But like, isn't this a good basket for something? I don't know, you can put something in it. All these cups. I mean, we don't need them. <laughs> oh my gosh, how many cups are in here? Ooh, a nice little vase. This is, you know, what else is in here? What is this? Cigar box. Ooh. Cigar box. What else? Ooh. Napkins. <laughs> More treasures. Do we need these? No. One man's trash. Another man's treasure. Or is one man's trash another man's trash? All right. So the first thing I'm going to tackle today is this bathing suit bin. Half of these bathing suits don't fit them. So when they search for one, they just, they're all over the floor of their bedroom. And then when I come in from outside, I'm like, oh my gosh, there's so much crap on the floor. And I get overwhelmed when there's a lot of stuff on the floor. So I'm gonna fix that problem and just get rid of the suits that don't fit them. Normally I keep them around, uh, you know, if we have guests over and stuff, but they just, I can't handle it anymore. I, I can't do it. I got them these matching suits last summer. I don't think they ever wore them. Because I don't have matching bottoms. I guess I just could buy matching bottoms. That would be an easy solution, right? There's dirty clothes in here. All right, done. To me, this is still kind of overwhelming because there's like five swimsuits for each of them in there. It's more like three, three for each of them, maybe four. Cause like this top doesn't have a bottom. I don't know, whatever. I'm getting rid of that crap. So I would call this a win. This little man wants to go in the pool so bad. He just asked me to put that onesie around his head. <laughs> I think he thinks it's a bathing suit. Wentworth, here come you here. Are. What do you want to do? Wentworth, where do you want to go? Oh, you want to play with that phone? Hi! Who is it? Some fresh laundry. All right, the kids are in the pool, the sweet sounds of summer. And I've got some laundry to do. I I also have some more laundry. I have diapers in the dryer, but we're gonna do one load at a time. But I wanted to talk to you guys about um, like summer and what you guys do with your kids uh, summertime because already we're like officially one day into summer. Today's Monday. And they just, they're destroying math. <laughs> they're so, they were like doing a craft activity last night. They were cutting things out of magazines and making like some kind of book but now there's like mess everywhere. And I'm like, they're gonna clean it up. I'm not cleaning that crap up. But um, I feel like something I wanted to do today was to go to the store and um, get supplies for like Camp Mom, <laughs> you know? Like um, at Michael's they have these really cool books. They're like pre-made books, but they're blank. And you can, my daughter, she loves, she's gonna be an author for sure. She's like made books in the past, but, um, that's something that she really likes is creating books and stories and, and pictures and illustrations and all that kind of stuff. So that's one thing that I need and also like construction paper and all that stuff. So that's something that I wanted to do today was to go to the dollar store and go to Michael's and collect all those things. But maybe that will have to wait for tomorrow or maybe the next day. I'm not sure. Let me know if you guys also want to see a haul of that stuff, like kind of camp mom supplies, you know? Um, I feel like that's what it is, and like 
they're not going to summer camp. We're just hanging out at the house. But every day I feel like, I don't know, do you feel this way? Not that I have to entertain them. I used to feel that way, but I don't anymore. I don't, I, I don't go like out of my way, but I do like to keep them busy and have outings for them so that they don't get super bored out of their mind or they don't sit in front of the TV for, you know, hours on end. Um, anyway, so I posted to my Instagram the other day. It was something like, it was like a picture of a guy like cooling himself off with water, like, oh, because, and the caption was something along the lines of, uh, when your kids ask what fun activity is planned for tomorrow on your way home from a fun activity. <laughs> like we went, uh, I feel like we do something fun every day, but yesterday we were on our way home and the kids were just not being grateful for what we had just done. And Wentworth was crying because he was ready for a nap. And I was just like, can you guys just be appreciative? And they were like, what are we doing next? And I was like, we just did something. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like. Oh my gosh. You know, I don't want to overstimulate them, but I also like their kids and they get bored super easily. I'm just glad we have a backyard and a pool to keep them busy, you know what I mean? Because that is a saving grade. They're in it right now and it's just, we can be like, oh, go in the pool. And like, I can sit here and do laundry and keep an eye on them. It's wonderful. All right. So I think what's gonna happen is I'm gonna finish folding, but I'm also gonna throw something on the TV, something I like to call Law & Order SVU because I'm obsessed with it. And I just, uh, it's like my TV time when I get to fold clothes and uh, listen to Law & Order. <laughs> this party to the kitchen. gonna let the chickens roam outside while we hang out out here for a little bit. Wentworth, is that a chicken? Tickle, tickle. <laughs> Wentworth, can you say chicken? <coughs> Gentle. Wentworth, can you say chicken? <laughs> chicka, 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 chin. He says. There's the third one. Wentworth thinks he's Mr. Muscles. What are you gonna do, bud? Do the monkey bars? gonna fall more like it he. he loves this water table and I love that he loves it it's nice and shady right here thank you tall pine trees <laughs> and the girls are still in the pool it's been like three hours uh, but I wanted to show you something Target has beauty boxes I know you guys know about them oh my gosh guys this pimple this third eye on my forehead right here it's like so big it's giving me a headache i'm not even kidding i need new glasses but don't want to spend the money but i found some that i love at costco so fingers crossed okay so back to the target beauty boxes i just got an email okay it says beauty boxes are here and it's such a good deal so now apparently they have like a female and then a male beauty box or grooming box um last month or a couple months ago they had like four different options for females so there it is it's seven dollars let's see what's in it normally there's a mascara and that alone to me is worth seven dollars and then everything else is kind of just a bonus you know okay so here's what's in the box this mascara neutrogena which isn't the best i don't know but i'm not picky about mascara 
some toothpaste, some fake lashes if you're into that, some, what is that, lip gloss, two little cotton rounds, uh, I don't know, uh, some eye makeup remover from Garnier, and then this stuff, it's a little sample of perfume, but this is the perfume I was talking about for Mother's Day um, on my Mother's Day video. It's with essential oils. What a deal, right? It, even though it's a little sample. But I feel like for $7, you can get that mascara. And then everything else is like a bonus. Guys, I had to share this with you. I was just going to the bathroom and I found something amazing. So this is the new toilet paper. It's Charmin. Look how fancy they are. Look at that. It's not a straight line. Isn't that so cool? It's the little things in life, I feel like. By the way, I'm not actually going to the bathroom right now, or am I? <laughs> okay, is this a super random place to end the vlog? Probably, but I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and cleaning with me. I always enjoy your company. I hope you enjoy hanging out with me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.